Okay, today's lesson is learning about bias. So we're going to do kind of an activity. So let's try something. You're going to see and hear a word or phrase on the slide. What I want you to do is think. What is the first thing you think of? What image do you see in your head? And hold that, okay? A scientist. Do you have a picture in your head? Was this in your picture? Or this? Or this? Remember, it doesn't have to be a professional scientist. But what you pictured in your head first is based on your life experiences. It's not good, it's not bad, it just is. So let's try another example. A pet. Do you have a picture in your head? Was this what you pictured? Or this? Or this? Again, what you pictured first is based on your life experiences. It is your bias. We all have it. It's not the same. Let's try another example. A NASCAR driver. Do you have a picture in your head? Was this who you pictured? Or this? Or this? What you pictured is based on your bias, your implicit bias. It is implicit because it's unconscious. It happens without thinking about it, but it does affect our view of the world. Let's try another example. A salad. Do you have a picture in your head? Was this what you pictured? Or this? Or this? What you picture first is based on your implicit bias. Implicit bias happens without you thinking about it. Implicit bias is not necessarily bad. Our lived experiences, as well as the media, shape our implicit bias. So the things you've experienced, you've seen, you've heard, you've gone through. Implicit bias is automatic, like a reflex. It affects how you see the world. It can result in attitudes, stereotypes, and beliefs that affect how we see and treat others. So when you see someone, you make assumptions about their age, their race, their gender. By how they speak, do you make assumptions about their gender? By what they say, do you make assumptions about their religion? All of those kinds of things shape how we see and how we treat other people. So why are we talking about it in this class? Well, implicit bias affects our choices and our interactions with people. In the classroom, implicit bias can affect our first impressions of the classroom in general, our classmates, the teachers, assignments. So if somebody says, okay, it's time for a test, you have an assumption, you have an implicit bias about what you think that means. Seating arrangements. In science, implicit bias affects what scientists decide to research. If scientists publish their work and where they publish it, the language used, the words chosen, the point of view when writing, and which conferences or workshops to attend. So right now, how well do you understand what implicit bias means? So let's go fifth to five. This means I don't understand implicit bias at all. Five means I understand it completely, I could teach it, I could explain it to someone else. Okay, so we're going to listen to some of your answers. What do you think implicit bias is? 
okay, now that we've gone through the lesson, you have these resources that we've already covered in your notebook. You are going to write an IVF summary to answer this question. What is implicit bias? Hopefully, you should be able to do that. And that's it. That was our implicit bias activity.